Hey, sixth grade, here's your help video for 8.1.2. We are testing solutions to equations. So here's the equation, 2a plus 5 equals 13. You do not have to figure out what a equals. I'm telling you, what if a equals 4? So I'm going to replace the a in the equation with 4. To do that, right underneath the a, I'm going to write 4 in parentheses then everything else stays the same. A 2 in front plus 5. Don't keep the equals 13. Right now we're just rewriting this part here where the a is. Now, if you go too fast and you don't put parentheses around the value of the a, do you see how this kind of sort of looks like the number 24? But remembering from our very last unit that 2a is like having two bags of apples. 2a is really written as a plus a. So if each of those a's is really the number four, then we have four and four, we have eight. We don't have 24, right? So let's copy over what we rewrote here under the equation. I'm gonna copy, you will have to rewrite and paste, right? So this says two repeats of four or two times four, put in a time symbol, 2 times 4, and I know that 2 times 4 is 8, and then I'm just going to drop down the plus 5. Now I'm going to put in the equals, and this is pretty easy. 8 plus 5 more is 13. Then I'll look back over at my original box where it says equation. It says that it should equal 13. My answer says that it equals 13. Then that means, is it a solution? Yes. Yes, it is. Let's do one more example, and then I'm going to let you work. Let's look at the third one. 6 plus 5 C's equals 44. This time it says that every C is worth 8. So underneath C, I'm going to put in parentheses 8. I want you to remember that 5 C really means C and C and C and C and C. And if we replace each one of those with eight, do you see that this is repeat addition or multiplication? Right. I'm gonna keep everything else the same. Six plus, oh, didn't give myself enough room. Six plus five parentheses eight. Then I'm going to copy that into the box that says evaluate with substitution. Right, the substitution is that I don't have A anymore, I have eight. So this says six plus five eighths, or eight plus eight plus eight plus eight plus eight. The shortcut is five times eight, which I know is 40. And then I'm gonna keep everything else the same. Six plus five times eight is 40. Six plus 40 is pretty easy, it's 46. Let's look back and see what it said the answer should be. It says that the answer should have been 44, uh-oh. We didn't get 44, we got 46. So is it a solution? No, it's not a solution. Because when we changed each C into eight, we got 46, not 44. So when we're saying, is it a solution? No, C cannot equal eight. All right, do your best on the rest of these. Don't forget to check your answers against the answer key by the door.